It's deworming day for the children of Chungwuk Primary School in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Children are receiving drugs to prevent and treat infection from roundworms, whipworms and hookworms, also known as soil transmitted helminths or STH. Children without worms target school age children because they are the population that are vulnerable to infection and this disease has profound impact on their health and their future lives. The worms sap nutrients from the children, making it difficult for them to stay healthy, for their brains to develop. And if a child is sick, they can't attend school. And everyone knows that if a child can't attend school, they're more likely to drop out. And then there's a domino effect. If they drop out of school, they're less likely to become productive adults, and they're less likely to break out of poverty. Throughout Cambodia, about two and a half million school-aged children will be dewormed with mebendazole donated by Johnson & Johnson. This is a campaign that's organized by the government of Cambodia. Specifically, it's implemented by the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education. We support over 700 programs in more than 50 countries around the world. Those focus areas are broad in scope and include the program that we are talking about today, Children Without Worms. Johnson & Johnson, we have a quality medicine called mebendazole that treats and kills the worms. So in response to the World Health Assembly's resolution to treat 75% of the children around the world, we've created the program Children Without Worms that both donates and administer the drugs to treat the worms. Before a child is treated, they are listless, they are lethargic because the, the worms are, are sapping them of nu nutrients. They have a tablet of mebendazole and then they pass the worms and then they become engaged. They're energized, they're energetic, they're ready to learn and to play and to be children. Since the deworming program was introduced into my school, I see the children are getting healthier. School dropouts and absent as a result of diseases have declined. Deworming is just part of a larger strategy to prevent the cycle of STH infection. Hygiene education and access to clean water and sanitation are also vital components. We've taught them about hygiene and sanitation in the classroom and practices in the public areas around the school. I teach them about how to wash hands and use the latrine. Children Without Worms has worked with the Cambodian government and Helen Keller International to develop and roll out a health education program in schools. We're working closely in collaboration with the school health department under the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports, and the National Malaria Center under the Ministry of Health. With generous support from Johnson & Johnson and Children Without Worm, Helen Keller International provided technical support to school health department to implement school health project in order to control and prevent soil transmitted helminths among the primary school children. After piloting in four schools, the program will be rolled out as part of the national curriculum. We are concerned about children who suffer from anemia, slow development and even fatality. In the program, we've had to cooperate with each other to design textbooks for the academic curriculum. This content is mainstreamed into the existing healthcare education for two hours a week. The issue is to what extent the book will be read or used by teacher and children. Sending the book to library for every school just at the beginning. But we have to ensure teacher use, children read and understand. Students also help to further spread messages about health and sanitation to their communities through their families. Since the deworming program started, my children have washed their hands with soap, wear shoes while walking on wet soil and drink boiled water. Moreover, it's prevented my children and family from getting the disease, so our family will be prosperous. The root cause of worms is that the countries do not have adequate sanitation 
and clean water and also the children and the uh, even adults are not educated on good hygiene practices. So in that case, if you do not address the what we call the WASH, W-A-S-H, uh, water sanitation and hygiene education components of the program, the, the cycle of infection will perpetuate. We do all of our work with community-based partners because we recognize that they are the experts in local needs as well as in the best ways to identify solutions that will really make a difference. This program is important to us because when we can eliminate intestinal worms in children, they have the opportunity to really to thrive. The food that they eat nourishes them. They can focus on their studies. They can play. They can live life. And for us, this is of critical importance.